Today we're gonna to feature a watch from Not Timepieces. I featured a few of their watches in the past, but I have never featured a dive watch. This is a 200 meter dive watch with a kinetic movement. I love featuring Not here on my channel for a number of reasons, but one of the major reasons is that their cases are usually finished through a factory that finish watches for Grand Seiko. And that is pretty awesome, especially considering the price of their watches. So let's flip the camera and take a look at the SAC40S hands-on. This is their dive watch. And like I said, powered by a Seiko kinetic movement. So there are a few different reasons why I love to feature the brand not timepieces here on my channel. One of the major reasons is because they are made in Japan. You get Japanese movements inside, so sometimes they're using Miyota movements. Most of the time they're using Seiko movements. This actually has a kinetic movement inside, so technically a quartz. However, obviously it winds with a rotor, and that's how the movement is actually powered. There is a capacitor. That capacitor lasts about 10 years, give or take and that eventually would need to be replaced, but it does take about 10 years. Also, their cases are generally finished very, very well. And that is because usually they are finished in a factory that create cases for Grand Seiko. Now, I've featured three of their watches here on my channel. All of those watches have featured a case that was finished by a factory that create cases for Grand Seiko. So literally Grand Seiko level polishing, Zeratsu polishing, although it is not called that, and beautiful brushing. Now, I believe this watch does get some of that treatment because when you look at the case on this watch, it is really very nicely finished. It is all brushed because this is a sports watch. This is actually a dive watch. You do have a rotating bezel on here and 200 meters of water resistance. You also get a Fume blue dial, something that you don't see very often from the Japanese, and this looks really good. You also get a handmade Japanese strap on here. This is canvas and sort of a raw leather, and they put a beautiful buckle on these straps. Always really very, very nice buckle, and just a good looking watch in general. Flip it over, and you can see the kinetic movement from the back. However, what they have done is sort of frosted the glass and slightly darkened it, so you can't really see it that well. And then you also have their logo right there. There's a little bit of a motif, it's sort of a wave motif that is engraved on the back and it just says 200 meters of water resistant sapphire crystal, all of that good information. It is screwed in and you have a screwed in crown. Before we go on, I do wanna mention that my hands are still a little bit messed up. My son was being attacked by a dog. I need to get that dog off of my son and my hands are still in the healing process. Of course, my son is still in the healing process. His arm was broken and he is expected to make a full recovery. However, we are still on that road and it's gonna take a few weeks. So I do wanna mention that and that's why my hands are like this. Anyway, 200 meters of water resistance, and it's not a very thick watch. We'll do measurements in just a second. It's called the SAC40S. That 40 means it's a 40 millimeter watch. Let's do some quick measurements at the bezel. We have basically 40 millimeters spot on. The lugs are really nice on here. It's sort of, I guess you would call them stumpy. They aren't very long, uh, and they sort of angle down. They don't curve down, so they're kind of angular. Uh, I like the look of them. And then you have drilled lugs. The way that they work is you can buy a bracelet with this watch. It's a little bit more expensive than say a strap. So 47.5 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, however, you can choose any strap that you want. 5.3 on the crown. So a little bit of a small crown, but not that bad. 11.9 uh, millimeters thick. That's with 200 meters of water resistance and a sapphire crystal on the front and the back with that screwed in case back. So very, very nice. Uh, and essentially, you can choose any strap that you want. And they have hundreds of straps on their website. If you want a fabric strap, a leather strap, but they also have mesh straps, so metal straps. And then, of course, 
uh, bracelet. So you can actually get a bracelet on here, anything that you want. So the price, the base price for this watch is probably in the neighborhood of around $300, maybe just under $300. And then on this strap, on this canvas strap that's made in Japan, that has leather, uh, comes with a beautiful buckle. This costs, uh, I think, $322. So it's basically, that's the exchange that I was able to figure out uh, in, in yen, Japanese yen versus dollars. So $322 for a watch that looks this good. And let's listen to the bezel action. And this is how you know this is coming from a factory that know how to make watches and cases. This is, I believe, an aluminum bezel, but listen to this. So there's a few things I want to talk about with this bezel action. And I have to say, this has got to be one of the best bezel actions that I've experienced in a long time. And the reason is it's very even. So when you're turning the bezel, it really does turn very evenly. It reminds me of Glass Chute Original when I actually recently featured the CQ on my channel. The bezel action I thought was phenomenal on that watch. And that's, I think, a $10,000 watch somewhere in that neighborhood. This is a $300 watch. Just keep that in mind. I'm comparing it to a $10,000 Swiss made or German made watch, really. So. Uh, the, the clicks are very, very audible and crisp. There's no crunchiness. There's no weird sounds that are coming from this bezel. It's not tinny. It's very sharp and precise. The feel of the bezel is excellent. Every click is precise. It's like a safe. Very, very, very crisp. I'm impressed. So basically what I'm trying to say is, you know that this came from a manufacturer who know how to create high quality watches. Now, not timepieces. Yes, they sell a lot of fashion watches, but for their watches like these, they source the best. And I have to say, this is amazing. And I'm really impressed with this watch. The crown is a little bit small, as I mentioned, but it is really grippy. Uh, and then you do have their logo right there. One other thing I want to mention, just like other kinetic watches, you click that button right there and it tells you exactly how much power reserve you have. So it's saying 20 seconds, and I believe that means you get six months. It might be 25 is six months. I don't remember. It works exactly the same as a seven series um, uh, kinetic movement from Seiko. So if it only goes five seconds, I think you get only two days. If it goes further than that, uh, you know, 10 seconds, it's like 10 days or something like that. And then keeps going further and further until you get to the full six months of power reserve. Also, uh, the watch will go to sleep. So if you put it down and you are not using it and then you move it again, it will wake up and you will still have that power reserve. It will last up to six months. Uh, with that power reserve, obviously the power reserve does dwindle over time. So let me throw it on my wrist and then we will do a loom shot. So loom, I don't know what they're using on here. It may be loom bright, but it might not be. So I'm not entirely sure. I know in the past loom hasn't been the strong point for not. This is a dive watch, so it might be a little bit different. Today I have Benris on. This is the Sea Lord. This is a great watch. I am really impressed with this watch as well. Very, very handsome, really well made, and also at a very good price. This is under $1,000 uh, for a Swiss automatic dive watch. I really love this watch. Uh, very good looking. Actually, very similar looking to this watch as well. Um, obviously, this is a 300 change watch. Well, that is almost the, uh, $795, I think, right now, but uh, on sale, and it goes down to, or up to $1,000. Uh, eventually, but there you go. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter dive watch, so 200 meter dive watch. You do have a date right there. It is color matched to the black portion of this uh, Fume dial. It sort of has a little bit of a sun ray effect. And then you have the knot logo on the hand. It's the counterbalance. And then you have a little rectangle on the tip, sort of a, a little bit of a lollipop sort of on that second hand. And then you have syringe. Uh, our hand and then a syringe 
minute hand. Those are filled with loom. You have applied indices. Those are filled with loom and the knot logo that is applied. So, and it just says not time pieces uh, right below the 12 o'clock index. You have a white minute track and there is really no chapter ring to speak of. Everything lines up on the bezel uh, and there is a pip in the bezel that is loomed. Very comfortable, very good looking strap. Overall, I think this is a really good looking watch, uh, especially considering the price and the construction. I really don't know. There are not many watches out there uh, that you're going to get a watch that I believe was finished in. Now, I don't know this for sure, but I believe this was finished in the Grand Seiko um, uh, case manufacturer that I was mentioning before. The case is really nicely finished. If not, uh, I, I still think it's a very nicely finished case. So very quickly, let me throw it under the UV light and we'll do a loom shot. Okay, so the loom isn't incredible. I wish there was more loom on the indices. There is loom on the second hand. So obviously I do like that. And there is liberally applied loom to the hour and minutes hand. And of course the pip in the bezel. It's the indices that are applied. Those are not very liberally applied. You can see they are fading pretty quickly. That's a little bit of a disappointment. I wish that they put more loom in here for future references. I uh, hope that they uh, pay attention to that because this would really be a really perfect dive watch for someone who's looking for a very reliable movement in a 200 meter dive watch that has really good looks and of course great construction from Japan which really rivals the Swiss uh, at their best. So this is pretty incredible except for of course the loom on those indices. I wish there was more. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of not timepieces I have featured? This is the fourth not timepiece that I have featured here on my channel. Two chronographs, amazing watches. And then I also featured one of their sort of dive style watches. It was more of a field dive style watch. Um, and that one had a Miona 9000 series in it. Phenomenal case on that as well. And uh, I thought all three of those watches were incredible. I think this watch is pretty incredible as well. This being the most affordable out of the four that I have featured, I don't think this is sort of skimping in any way, except of course, it doesn't have an automatic movement. It does have a kinetic movement, which is essentially an auto quartz, which in my opinion, a lot of ways is beneficial over a traditional automatic movement because you can put this down for extended period of time and pick it up and it will be working. So pretty cool and tell you the time, which is most important. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. It's really the easiest way to help support my channel and support me. And I very much appreciate it when you guys hit that bell icon, subscribe and like these videos. Uh, like I said, it, it really is very helpful for the channel and I, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon especially around the holiday season. If you click any of those Amazon links, it brings you to Amazon. You don't pay anything extra. However, if you buy anything, it doesn't have to be the items that I have linked to. It supports my channel and I very, very much appreciate that as well. Um, you know, it just helps out every little bit and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you in the next video.